Well, let's work on the hips and the legs now. I've done a little more point pulling and we've got uh, the beginnings of the of the arms and the and the torso. Still looks like I need to work on the back some, but uh, let's go ahead and begin on the hips. I'm gonna go to um, edge mode here and select that edge. Now let's go to our character modeling screen layout here. And what I'm gonna do is um, pull or extrude this edge down to just where the top of the leg would be. And then I'm gonna extrude the edges just on the front and the back down and connect them underneath the hips there. So I've got that edge selected. Let's hit E, bring it down, and I'm gonna begin to kind of um, push out the bottom here. Let me just move that in a bit, and probably the best way to do it would be to scale it out just a bit as I go. All right, and maybe I could use a little scaling over here too. All right, let's extrude again. Now the trick is, is to try and select the front and the back faces. And if I select these two edges, and select these two edges. I've got a little bit more to work with now, I think. All right, I'm gonna go back to my character modeling view here. So now, here we go. We want these, and we also want these. So I've got four edges on the back and four edges on the front selected. That's good. Let's try this. I'm going to extrude and pull them down just a bit. And then I'm going to scale them in just a little bit. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just um, moving these points in and down. Scale them in a bit as well. Scale and move. And now extrude again, pull them down, scale them in, scale them in and move them in here as well. We're almost there. Let's do, let's do one more. I'm going to go ahead and scale these in like that and I'll even bring them back up just a bit and maybe scale these in and move them in as well. Okay, so now we've got a diaper <laughs> kind of thing, right? We need to connect these up now. So let's do that. So this and this need to go together. So I'm gonna select those two and Alt M and at the center. Okay, so we've got those connected now. Now we need to do some serious point pulling to try and get this leg opening to be more the way we need it. Right now it's not real good. So let's start with this. Maybe I'll even pull some of these up. And what I'm trying to do is get this opening more rounded. Um, not so... Um, sharp. So it just takes a little point pulling here. Okay. Well, there is uh, really the beginnings of our hips. There's going to be more adjustment, of course, as time goes on. But for right now, I think that's good enough to begin extruding the legs down now. So if we select that edge, and let's... Um, Let's begin extruding the legs down here. What I'm going to do is select that edge, and then it, when I extrude, I'm, I'm not going to, we can pull down quite a bit here, of course, but I'm not going to pull down a whole lot. I'm just going to pull down a little bit, 
Now here I go to try and flatten this up some, and I'm going to flatten it up, and then rotate it back, and then move it back into place, and even maybe scale it up a bit. So I'm going to hit E, and move this down just a little bit, rotate it, scale it, so I've got these three edges in pretty tight, pretty close. Another extrusion, and now we're to the top of the knees. So I'm going to scale this in the z-axis to flatten it out. And I'll move it to where the top of the knee is going to be. And once again, we need three edges for any joint. So that'll be the top of the knee. This will be the middle of the knee, this extrusion here. And this will be the bottom of the knee, right here. Okay. Then we do another extrusion for the calf. Maybe this scales out a hair here for the calf. And maybe that scales out a bit here. And then if we extrude on down, we can scale this down for an ankle here. Okay. So we've got the calf. We've got what we're considering to be the knee right here. Okay. So what I've done is I've got three edges for the knee, right here, and I've got three edges for the hip, right here, okay? So there we go. We've got the basis of our character. We've got the uh, head, the torso, the hips, and the legs so far. Uh, once again, there's going to be some work to pull the points around to get them to um, imply anatomical structures like the shoulder blades and um, the knees and elbows and things like that. Uh, but so far, it's looking pretty good. So in the next video, we'll start working on the hand. See you then.